Bamboo, explanation for those who had prints and printers ruined last night. This person's really upset. I, I think they might have incurred some psychological trauma by his printer starting up in the middle of the night. Dear Bamboo, how you respond to last night will really show how you value your community. This could be something you can turn into a positive for the brand. Oh my gosh, these Bamboo Lab fanboys are just something else. Do you guys like ghost stories? Because I got a spooky one for you. Let's say there's a 3D printer that just turned itself on in the middle of the night. What's it printing? For what purpose? Only God knows, or the devil himself. Well, that's the situation that a lot of people found themselves in. Basically, Bamboo Lab had a cloud services outage. The printers just started up random print jobs in the middle of the night. Some damaged themselves. Some printed a perfectly good object, uncommanded, in the middle of the night. Just kind of a spooky situation here. Now, I know this would never happen with any of my printers because I turn them off when I'm not using them and I don't connect them to the cloud. I mean, it's a strange concept, but who would have thought hooking your printer up to a random server and leaving it on and unattended would be a bad idea? Well, some people were very surprised to see that their printers can act up and it looks like it finished this print and then it went to start the print over again and it was just kind of smashing into this top layer and just kind of destroyed itself. So you can see this hot end is all crooked and broken. Um, also you can see down here, this is just another angle of it. So this printer is totaled, or at least the hot end is, because once those things get bent, you pretty much just have to replace it. And the wires might have become damaged in this whole ordeal. So it's better to just replace that whole assembly if you ever have a situation like this. And this isn't an isolated incident. Bamboo Lab have put out an announcement to address this issue. So let's see what Bamboo Lab have to say about this outage. This interruption caused some disconcerting issues that we are keenly aware of and deeply concerned about. We believe in transparency, so we'd like to update you with all of our initial findings while our investigation continues. I mean, if they're not even able to manage a cloud server outage properly, and they're damaging and breaking printers. Who knows if they're handling the rest of the data security stuff properly? I mean, the best way to take care of things is to just have it all offline or on a local network, and you should have all the tools necessary to use and maintain your printer offline. That's how I run my printers, and I strongly advise anyone who does this for a living to do it that way, just because that gives you the highest levels of security and safety. During the downtime, our customers were unable to send print jobs from Bamboo Studio. Additionally, some printers that were on during the affected period unexpectedly started a print job without user intervention. Since we're still in the process of analyzing the incident and have only looked into a portion of the cases, our findings might not yet tell the complete story. But rest assured, we will share additional information and insights as soon as we gather them. What we believe happened. The initial conclusion, or rather assumption, is that this incident was caused by a phenomenon we're calling job jamming. When the cloud outage occurred, our services became unstable. Jobs were sent to printers, but our system failed to receive confirmation of receipt. This led to repeat attempts to send the job, including some manual resends by confused users, which have been confirmed in a few well-documented incidents. Oop, looks like they're already trying to pin the blame on the users. Uh, well, we'll see if they take responsibility for this in the end. Automatic retry by the cloud service may also have contributed, though this is still under investigation. The result was that the print job was successfully completed on the printer, but our cloud service believed it had not been done. When the service resumed, the once jammed job was resent, leading to an unexpected printing of an already finished job. Simply explained, the print job sent to the printer before was trapped on the cloud and had a delayed start. Our apology and commitment. We wish to extend our sincerest apologies for this incident. We understand the frustration and inconvenience it may have caused, and we accept full responsibility. Frustration and inconvenience of your printer breaking itself in the middle of the night, possibly posing a fire hazard. After all, these things have heating elements on them and can get red hot, so it's really not good to have it start up uncommanded, especially when it's not being monitored. I'm never more than a few minutes away from my printers at any given time, and I always check on my print jobs as they're going, and especially when they first get started. So having these prints start uncommanded in the middle of the night with nobody around watching them is highly concerning. Anyways, we understand the frustration and inconvenience it may have caused, and we accept full responsibility. It is difficult to have a cloud service 100% reliable all the time, but we should at least have designed the system more carefully to avoid such embarrassing consequences. 
Our R&D and cloud networking teams are working tirelessly to identify the root cause and ensure that this never happens again. We are planning to implement changes, such as additional verifications before a print is started, to prevent future issues. Okay, so they're saying it's difficult to have a cloud service that's 100% reliable all the time. And then they're saying they're going to identify the root cause and ensure that this never happens again. But then again, it's difficult to have a cloud service that's 100% reliable all the time. So, you know, will this happen again in the future? Maybe. Generally speaking, I like cloud services to be opt-in rather than opt-out. In the default setup and workflow when you're installing and getting your Bamboo Lab printer running, they really kind of pigeonhole you down this route where they want you to hook it up to the cloud. They want you to get the app, the slicer, and the printer all on the network, all talking to the internet, all talking to Bamboo Lab HQ. And that's a lot of responsibility. Even if Bamboo Lab is doing their due diligence and they're not trying to be malicious with anything, which I have no reason to believe that they are, even in those cases, it's not a good idea to trust someone else with your data because accidents happen like this. They had a bug in their code, you know, things weren't programmed perfectly, and they had these printers just firing off and breaking themselves in the middle of the night. And that's gotta be really frustrating, especially with how expensive these machines are. I mean, most people are dealing with multi-thousands of dollars when it comes to investing in their Bamboo Lab printers. The X1C plus AMS combo is like $1,400. So you're talking about a lot of money here. Add shipping and taxes on top of that and all your filament and replacement parts that you're gonna wish you had for when this crazy stuff happens. The other issue here is that they're using carbon fiber rods for the X axis, which are kind of delicate. And you can end up with a situation where you're ramming those carbon fiber rods into a part that's already been printed and you can damage those. And that's a huge job to replace that. It probably takes three or four hours with a, someone who's familiar with electronics to be able to take that apart and replace that gantry assembly. The most common case of damage is probably just gonna be the hot end getting broken and bent. We've got some pictures of that, which we'll take a closer look at here in a minute. But you know, this is just not a good situation all around. We are committed to further developing LAN mode for our printers, which is a way that customers can send prints remotely to the printer if such cloud outages occur. I think the issue is the printers breaking themselves when the cloud outage is occurring. This is someone sleeping, right? <laughs> and, and their printer just starts up and starts ramming into stuff. I mean, add to that, I know some people will store things inside of their printer. You're really not supposed to do that, but let's say you were storing something flammable inside of there, like a bottle of acetone or something, and it's like smashing into it and introducing heat. That's gotta be a little bit dangerous. My only annoyance with LAN mode is, at least for the P1P and P1S, it requires you to get the app on your phone and sign up and create an account, and they're probably getting a copy of your printer's ID number and all sorts of other information that they tie into your user account. I would really prefer what a lot of other companies are doing where it's just completely separate. Like if you wanna set up cloud, that's an opt-in. You, you can go through and set that up if you want to. But the default workflow should be plug it in, turn it on, stick some removable media in there and run your print jobs. And that's like a baseline functionality of a machine that should be very well polished. That's one of the reasons why I don't really like the direction that Bamboo Lab is going in because they're kind of building up this cloud infrastructure as the thing that you should be using by default. But really, I think you should be doing offline workflows by default. Oh, and this is Rich. Besides LAN mode, SD card printing is also available as an offline method of printing. Except they leave out the fact that that's a huge pain in the ass to do on the P1P and P1S because you have to use the micro SD card, which is that tiny little, you know, chip that you have to plug in and fumble around with it, find a little SD card reader, find a way to plug it into a computer like this where I only have USB-C connectors and there's very few USB-C SD card readers. It's just annoying. It's not a really well thought out offline workflow. And I think that's something they should really focus on improving. I mean, I want my printers to run offline and I want it to be easy and convenient. What a lot of other printers are doing is they have a USB-A port where you can just plug in a flash drive and get printing that way. That way you're not having to fumble around with SD cards. So yeah, I mean, it's important to have a good offline workflow for situations like this. And I feel like people should be encouraged to use the offline workflow instead of it kind of being an afterthought like it is on the Bamboo Lab designs. If you were affected by this cloud outage and your printer has suffered any damage, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at Bamboo Lab Support. We're here to assist and make things right. 
We greatly appreciate your patience and trust as we work through this challenge. Your satisfaction is our priority, and we are committed to keeping you informed as we learn more. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, there's a lot of assumptions at the end here. First is that you're patient and you trust them. And the last one is that you're understanding. I mean, I wouldn't be too understanding if my printer just fired itself up and broke itself in the middle of the night. But let's see what some of these failures look like. I'll link to these Reddit articles so you can check out some of the stuff yourself. Let's check this out. So your printer can burn down your house by starting print when you are not home or sleeping. This person's really upset. I, I think they might have incurred some psychological trauma by his printer starting up in the middle of the night. Update, X1C has a thermal fuse in bed and ceramic heater in the hot end. So there's hardware safety in place that should prevent it from catching fire. That's a good point. This is something that I've talked about myself on my channel. Taking a look at the hardware that they're using, it's a pretty fail-safe setup. However, that said, there's always ways for it to fail that you're not expecting, especially because you're dealing with a moving object that's somewhat fragile, that can be smashing into stuff and breaking itself in unique and novel ways that you can't really plan for. So I wouldn't say it's 100% safe. However, they've done their due diligence to make it as safe as possible in a situation like this. I mean, there's always gonna be ways to make it safer, but it's in a pretty decent state. Cloud misconfiguration or hack can still cause a lot of monetary damage to you. That's a great point. This might have just been an honest mistake, but maybe someone hacked into their cloud systems and tried to shut them down. Like you never really know what's going on there. And in the event of a hack, let's say someone gets onto Bamboo Lab servers and sends out a bunch of print jobs. What if they print something pornographic or illicit in nature? Like things that the ATF or FBI might be a little bit upset about you having. Um, due to recent events, printers started printing on their own. I don't trust Bamboo Cloud anymore. <laughs> My printer will be going LAN only mode after this print finishes. To be clear, they were damaged by the unauthorized print start, not fire. I think those who are affected by this should demand refund or compensation for the wasted filament and or damaged parts. That's a great point. I mean, a lot of the times companies will reimburse you for the parts that are broken, but what about your time? If you're having to spend four hours figuring out how to replace the hot end and getting all that set up and inspecting things and dealing with any kind of strange misalignment or belt tensioning issues that could have occurred, I mean, they're probably not gonna compensate you for that. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, let's find one with some pictures. Yeah, this one. This guy has a nice, uh, you know, nice clean image of the first print job that he ran, he or she. And then the printer decided it was gonna print again. So here it goes, it's starting off the second print job. Clearly there's a print that's in the way already. So it just started mashing this nozzle against the, uh, the print there. And it looks like it got bent out of shape pretty bad. I mean, this is supposed to come straight down. As you can see, it's bent at like a 45 degree angle. The filament spilled out the side and coiled up inside the chamber and it only stopped feeding once the temperature sensor was ripped out. So that's kind of a concerning issue. Anytime you have any of the components involved in the PID loop that's controlling the temperature of the hot end, when you get those parts being damaged, sure, you should have thermal runaway protection turned on and that should be able to stop any issues. However, there's always unforeseen ways that things can fail. Having the temperature sensor ripped out is not a good situation to be in. So this guy's sending out a support ticket. Dear Bamboo, how you respond to last night will really show how you value your community. This could be something you can turn into a positive for the brand. Oh my gosh, these Bamboo Lab fanboys are just something else. With love and hope, a potential P1S owner. Edit, Bamboo Lab is a young company and naturally things happen. The lack of communication is the problem. As an early user, you should understand and accept that Bamboo is young, but Bamboo should work on communication as a way to balance this out. All right, well, we read through their statement, so I don't know if you think this is enough to address the issue. Not even a sorry, but just an explanation would be nice. It's so frustrating to not even get acknowledgement that, hey, this happened, we're investigating it, and we'll update you. If you are affected, please contact us using XYZ in the subject. Piss me off, to be honest. Uh, their majority of their support and their main team have been happily asleep as most of the world freaked out about this. Patience, my dude. My printer started itself at 4 a.m. and caused some damage before I woke up. I'm glad I was home and able to turn it off. It looks like it was burning into yesterday's print job and damaging the hot end at the same time. This is my first issue with this machine, but I'm scared to do longer prints now when I'm not available to monitor it. Let's do some close-ups of this shot. So you can see there's their uh, successful print job. Then it looks like it was trying to do something on top of it. Looks like there's some black bits scattered about there. That's probably debris coming off of the hot end. 
Looks like it was just ramming into these parts. I'm not sure what these black pieces are. That might be part of the structure, or it might be parts of the uh, the hot end sock. Yeah, it got it tore up the the sock of the hot end there. Bamboo explanation for those who had prints and printers ruined last night. I fortunately didn't have any damage to my nozzle or bed, probably because I had stuff on the bed already. It didn't occur to me at the time to wonder how three or four prints on the bed were fine, but the fourth was actually a giant blob that, again, fortunately, didn't wreck my nozzle. I've never dealt with a 3D printer that had this much going for it, but I think it's time to get your S together. The issue is not cloud printing issues. Cloud printing issues are what happened for hours previous to this issue, where prints would just vanish into nowhere instead of arriving at this printer. This was a print running, potentially equipment destroying, and fire causing massive screw up. So what's the explanation? So Bamboo Lab is doing the damage control, you know, they made the blog post after people are like, hey, what the heck's going on? I think it's an issue with how the printer handles cues brought to, into focus by cloud issues. The interesting thing is that a lot of people are scared of their printers now, it seems like. Another broken printer because of last night, just submitted my ticket, my LiDAR is broken, and the printer can't even print with it turned off. Something is bent slash broken. I haven't seen anything on here about bamboo making a statement. Is there any anywhere else that might give the community an update about this? I have no idea how many people's prints were broken, but uh, here's someone who posted, but then they deleted it, I guess, or maybe Bamboo Lab deleted it. They tend to monitor their subreddits and communities and delete posts they don't agree with. Firmware updates have nothing to do with what happened. This was an issue with Bamboo Labs Cloud. Users that submitted jobs received errors that the job was not submitted to the printer. It turns out that those jobs got stuck in some queue in Bamboo Labs infrastructure, and when they correct the issue that flushed those queues to the printers starting jobs, at least that's what currently appears to have happened. Ergo, this has nothing to do with firmware, question mark. Does not matter if you upgrade it or not, as you might have been affected by this. Okay, so there was a, another issue. They had a new version of firmware that people were upset with. I'm not entirely sure what was going on with that, but apparently there was issues with that as well. And this is a downside of cloud services in general, because let's say you're running a print farm and you rely on those cloud services to get your job done. Well, if the cloud services go out, then you're going to have to come up with some kind of alternate workflow, remapping all your printers to LAN mode or putting SD cards on there and firing everything up manually. I mean, sure, there's workarounds, but becoming reliant on a cloud infrastructure just doesn't sit well with me, especially if you're trying to do things reliably, privately, and securely. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be getting a cloud involved in the loop there. I know this would never happen with any of my printers because none of them are connected to the internet, and I turn them off when I'm done with them. I'll unplug them, flip the power switch off, and just make sure they don't fire up uncommandedly. The thing that a lot of people don't realize is these aren't highly reliable devices. These are just kind of half-baked things that are pushed out onto the market. And it's not like a car or a plane where they're extremely reliable and highly regulated. With 3D printers, there's basically no regulation. The FCC gets involved when it comes to the antenna design. But the rest of the stuff, I mean, I don't know how safe or unsafe these things are. And frankly, the printer manufacturers aren't concerned with this. They're concerned with selling printers. So it's not really their responsibility to take care of all of these things for you. Really, it falls on you to take care of the safety and security of your machine. All right, well, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I figured this was interesting enough that we should take a look at it. I don't know how many printers were affected by this issue, but based on what I've seen online, it looks like it's going to be in the hundreds to tens of thousands because basically anyone who was running their printer and had it connected to the cloud had these issues with uh, these jobs getting lost in the cloud somewhere and then coming out the other end and just starting up prints when you didn't expect it and causing all sorts of havoc. So let's let that be a reminder to the importance of having a strong offline workflow. And, um, you know, if you're running your printers on the cloud and you don't really need them on the cloud, this might be a good enough reason or a wake up call for you to set it into LAN mode or just start using some kind of removable media. I mean, the convenience that you get with the cloud is great, but there's all sorts of unforeseen consequences to connecting your printer to the internet. So just wanted to give you guys an update on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.